Hey everybody! I'm Felicia Day and this is my channel and if you don't know that I'll know why you're here. I don't know. I'm here to tell you about Comic Con because it was last weekend and I've been recovering all week and I was going to do a video on something else and I was like, um, you need to talk about that because that was a crazy five days. Every year I'm like, ugh, I'm never going to go again and then I go and I have the best time and then I, on Sunday I'm like, ugh, I'm never going to go again. You know, and when finally I'm old enough to always be like this, hey, let's go to Comic Con. It's gonna be weird. I probably shouldn't go at that point. Well, the biggest part of my Comic Con is that my company, Geek and Sundry, has an offsite event. So the first day, I was super excited because we got the banners up. Look how official that looks. And then the next day, there was a three hour line to get in, and I dressed like I was a French woman. We basically had amazing things in the space. We had a Witcher booth and a Dragon Age booth and an espionage comics. We had a lot of things you could just hang out and play games every Everywhere. We also were selling things and we had this shirt, play this fucker shirt. And I was excited because I thought Ryan was going to be there so we could play, you know, wear this play this fucker shirts from Co-Optitude, but he, he didn't go. He went to MLG the weekend before instead and he had that thing called work. We had like gaming and I played games with people and our friend Jesse Cox and you'll notice a couple people from Spooks were there. Then at night we had parties. Now the thing about Comic Con is that there's a lot of fancy parties and a lot of people can't get on the list of those parties. I just wanted to be able to have a place where our fans could come and party and it was great. I stayed there until 3 a.m. two days in a row and yeah I stood on a table and did this. I don't I don't go out often but when I do I do it like this and weird things happen clearly. Moving on, there are a lot of other off-site events at Comic-Con and really the moral of the story is you don't really need to have a badge. There was a huge Assassin's Creed parkour thing and I, I cut the line and I did, you know, an amazing performance. Felicia Day here challenging our coins. Take your very unique approach. Not embarrassing at all. There were probably hundreds of people watching me. Um, but you know, I was wearing flats. It's not really the, the, the shoe of choice. And I hate heights. And I'm not physical. All that happened in front of everyone. <laughs> I also went to the floor. I got my human sized bag. I actually asked as a favor to get this Batman bag because I thought it was the coolest one. Um, they had a supernatural one too, but I don't want the heads of people I know on my back. It's weird. Clearly I did a lot of effort getting some B-roll here. I, look, I'm the Vanna White of Comic Con. We also had a panel on Saturday. It was packed in the Indigo Ballroom. Will introed the panel. He was super busy with his show, Will Wheaton Project, but he came by and was very respectful for, to me as a friend and producer. I am wearing a skirt today, though. I know, that's it's weird. weird. It's weird to it's see my legs. It's the second right? time I've seen you and, and your uh, uh, pale moon colored legs. It's kind of like snow on this. That's yeah, what that's it is. It is. I stood next to you last night and actually got a sunburn from reflecting my <laughs> I went to a lot of awesome parties. I see a lot of fancy people there and I'm not really that impressed except, boom, Game of Thrones. That's me with one of the co-showrunners of Game of Thrones and the creative archer. Also, I met Brienne of Tarth. She has a name, I don't know it. And also, the hottest man on the planet. Yes, Pedro Pascal. He may be dead, but he lives forever in my heart. Literally, he is the first celebrity I just kind of ran up to and looked at like. Also, I uh, wore shorts for the first time in my life. I'm not kidding. Those are the first pair of shorts I've ever worn out. So everybody stopped me and said, hey Felicia, I've never seen you in shorts before. Those look great. So thank you J. Crew, for allowing me to purchase your expensive shorts. I also got um, kind of crazy. I violated Kiahu Kanuanui's uh, dimple with my finger. I mean, you know, things happen at Comic Con. You want to leave them there. Hopefully. Last day, uh, Will Wheaton and I did a panel at Nerd HQ. That's an awesome offsite event that uh, Zach Levi runs for charity, Operation Smile. Here's me with him and Aisha Tyler, who like basically crashed our panel. Oh, and I ran into Nathan and Alan. Oops, dropped some names. Here they are. I mean, it took a lot on me, and clearly I laid on these children on the way home, so inappropriate, but uh, they were made of bronze so they held my weight up fine. If there were two real children, I would be embarrassed to show the photo, but they were not real, unless someone had bronzed them and inside they were still alive, in which case, <laughs> that's creepy. That was my rambly Comic-Con. I'm doing this in one take because I gotta go to the office because I've been sick all week because somebody infected me with con plague. You, whoever I violated with my finger in their dimple, face dimple, um, you prob I probably deserved it. Bye. Yeah. 
Hey, did anybody want to uh, play The Walking Dead season two, episode four? Because I did that last night and I'd like to talk about it. Should I do that in a different different video? It's not contextual here. Okay.